I was upstairs uh, watching the results. It was very inspiring. And then, of course, going down into that crowd, you know, it was pretty cool. People were so happy. You're really happy with them, but almost immediately you, you also have a strong sense of, of the hopes that they have that are now on your shoulders. Albertans were getting tired of the same old conservative policies of the past. They wanted a party that was going to be on their side. They didn't want a government that was going to blame them for the inaction and the failures of the past. We were getting elected at a time where our budget was in free fall, and I soon learned the breadth of the challenge was much greater than we'd even imagined. We were absolutely focused on finding different ways to support job creation. The first thing that we did was we made a much bigger commitment with respect to capital spending, so that it's actually far and away the, the biggest one in the country. The previous government had planned to cut over a billion dollars out of our healthcare system. Their education cuts would have meant that we had 12,000 kids enter the school system in September of 2015 without a single new teacher hired, which was jaw-dropping to me. We're going to uh, increase that funding, protect those services for Albertans, protect those services for their families, make sure that, that their health care is there when they need it, make sure that our kids are getting the kind of quality education that we all want for them. Albertans wanted a party that was uh, progressive and modern and diverse. We're the, the first government in Canada to have a majority of women in cabinet. I hope that we can continue that record and grow our diversity uh, because um, that's what democracy is about. Our government stands on the shoulders of Alberta New Democrats who have, have worked to get us into power. And so we have an obligation to stay true to our principles and stay true to the people that helped this government to get elected. We've had a lot of work to do over the last year. You know, we've had to roll up our sleeves and we've had to work very, very long days. It, it's, been, it's been a hard job, but we know that there's people out there that are behind us and are rooting for us, and that helps to remind us who we're here for. We only succeed if we all pull together and if we all support each other.